Everyone talks about Donk. This guy causes so much hype that Team Spirit had to ask ESL to keep their cameramen away from him because ESL operators followed him around all day long and straight up ignored his teammates. But along with getting very popular, Donk has also gained a lot of haters. And we mean a lot. We've followed Donk for a long time now. In September 2023, we published his biography and noted his enormous potential. After just half a year, he won an S-tier tournament. But what amazes us the most about about Daniil's rise to fame is how he's handled haters. He doesn't resent anyone, nor show that he feels hurt or offended. He just waits until he gets on the big stage, shows an amazing performance, and rubs it in the haters' faces. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, because you're watching Cybershoke, and today we'll tell you how Donk masterfully handled a ton of haters. First, let's talk about why Donk has so many haters. Some people think it's the way he screams, but that's not really it. The real reason is plain and simple. Any player who gets to the superstar level that fast gets a lot of negative attention. Remember Monacy, for instance? Ilya is the most peaceful and friendly guy on Earth. But only two years ago, many people really disliked him. Why? Well, because he just played too good for his age. And when one more 14-year-old kid queues up for a face-it game and crushes some of the best players in the world, there are naturally a lot of people who would dislike them. The very same things happen with Rops, who had to go to the Face It HQ to prove that he was not cheating, or Zaiwu, who got a reputation as a cheater just because he refused an offer from Envy. Fortunately, in the past few months, Daniil has shown such great performances that his haters had to change their tune several times. Let's review just how he managed to do that. The CIS community started to talk about Donk when he was playing for Team Spirit Academy. Dragon's second roster finally had established themselves into the top 50 of HLTV rankings, and Daniil was their main star. That team didn't really make any noise, and no one was calling Donk a second monacy or bit. He was just a good player with a lot of potential. And if we look at Donk's stats from the first few months of 2023 when he was still playing for an academy, we'll see a 1.24 rating, which is a a good solid number, but nothing record-breaking. The first haters were saying that Donk wouldn't be able to repeat his online success on a LAN tournament because of the pressure. Well, let's just see how Donk performed at his first LAN event. It was in August 2023, when Daniil was already promoted to the main Spirit roster. The prize pool was $50,000, and most of the teams were top 50 in HLTV rankings. Pretty solid for your first LAN, right? Well, from the very beginning, Donk showed every everyone that he doesn't get anxious at all. On the contrary, this whole land thing got him fired up, and he was unstoppable in the last few games. On the third map of the semifinal, Dragons came back from the 5 to 15 score, and Daniil won a very important 1v2 clutch. He was also the main star in the Grand Finals, firing up 80 frags in three maps. As a result, Donk left his first ever LAN event as a champion and MVP. Haters, who were saying that he's a typical online player, had to come up with something new. So then the haters started to say that the only decent team on that Serbian LAN was Virtus Pro, number 12 in the world. So it doesn't count. When Donk has to face an actual tier 1 team, everyone's gonna see that he's totally overrated. Well, in just two months, Dragons qualified for an online tournament from Thunderpick with a lot of really strong teams. In the beginning, they got paired up against Complexity, number 8 in the world. Those guys just beat G2, Cloud9, and Liquid, so no easy fight there. But what do you think happened? 2-0 for Spirit, and Donk got the highest rating amongst all the 10 players on the server. In the game for a semi-final spot, Spirit faced the fourth best team in the world at that moment, Mouse. And what do you think happened then? 2-0 for Dragons, and Donk comes out of the server with a 1.17 rating. What could the haters possibly have to say this time? Well, that was an online tournament, and Mouse and Complexity just didn't consider Consider those games important. 
After that Thunderpick event, all the haters started to say that Donk needs to play against an actual decent team on a LAN, something more serious than Virtus Pro in Serbia. Alright, so Spirit successfully qualified for Bet Boom Dacha with only top 20 HLTV teams and $300,000 of prize money. On their way to the grand finals, Dragons beat number 9 team Furia two times and once again overcame Virtus Pro. To just push this over the line oh and God, he headshot. gets it. The spam through the smoke, it's insult to injury. It is the first reverse sweep in a best of five grand finals that we have the pleasure of having our eyes on. And it comes in the early days of CS2. Team Spirit have pulled off the unthinkable. Team Spirit earned $180,000 on that event, and Donk got another MVP medal for himself. It seemed like the moment when all the hate should stop, but no, not yet. As you can guess, each of Donk's success was more fuel on the fire for his haters, and they were coming up with more and more absurd arguments. For instance, after their victory at Bet Boom Dacha, some people said that that wasn't really a serious event. Like, teams came there just to chill and relax. The $300,000 prize is meaningless because it came from a betting website. And pfft, Two victories against Furia with 32-year-old Fallen? <laughs> well, that's hardly saying much. The last thing that haters could really come up with is the fact that Donk had zero experience playing at an S-tier event. IEM in Katowice was his first test. Who would have thought that once again Donk would show an incredible performance, finishing play-in as the best player of the whole stage? Fights against M4s against an AWP. Ow, I see that, but no, it's working. Two kills. They might have some access here. Donk, he's up next. And of course they line up, and of course he sprays him down. The group stage also didn't cause any problems for Daniil. Two to one against Navi. And as Navi move in, it really is the great unraveling, the beginning of the end, and the start of something new for Team Spirit. And clear victories against Complexity and FaZe. Oof, good flashbang from Magic, sets up Donk wonderfully. He goes through the barrels. Oh no! Already, Donk, you know what you're gonna get. He's gonna gun for you top mid. Off the USP, two headshots just like that. He's got Zontix to support him. This is what oh, you get. Off, Rob's back to ramp, dies oh. out to Donk, who's alive. He's still his time. He found his floater upstairs already. Broke. That's Donk running over, missed shot. And if you miss Donk, he's not going to give you the same privilege. Uh, go in again on a timing. There it is. Of course, he's going to find it. Mm -mm. Both frags in the end. And a first round for Spirit. It felt like a foregone conclusion. When Team Spirit reached the semi-final in Katowice, losing just a single map on their way, it looked ridiculous for the haters to keep on hating. Daniil proved that he could easily be any Tier 1 team in one of the most important events of the season. But then, an unexpected CS2 update from February 7th caused a lot of worrying about Doc. You see, in the changelog among all the great updates, like skins for Zeus or a new case, Valve had put a little note that Peeker's advantage is no longer as effective as before. Dev stated that they fixed this problem manually, and fans started to legit worry about Daniil. Well, we're sure that you know what happened next. Donk wasn't affected at all by that update, and he became the youngest winner of IEM Katowice. Today, we've talked about how Daniil made his haters change their tune time and time again. But if you're interested to know more about his biography, check out our video via the link in the description. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, because you are watching Cybershoke. Bye for now.